I'm with John Eyline of Honeywell and he's going to describe the Honeywell T-Hawk micro air vehicle. John? Okay, so what we have here is the Honeywell T-Hawk system, the air vehicle along with the ground support station and control station. The vehicles consist of a center body duct that contains the propulsion system and a fuel injection system. On this side here we see a pod that contains all the avionics, the battery to power the avionics, and an inertial management system. The other side of the vehicle we have our payload pod which contains all the radios for command and control, video downlink, and GPS reception. Command and control antenna on top, video antenna on the bottom. The payload on these vehicles is, is uh, cameras. We can either place an IR camera on the vehicle or a daylight camera on the vehicle. Okay. The bottom of the vehicle contains the reaction control vanes that, that control the flight. They uh, pivot back and forth in response to commands from the flight control system, creating the moments that keep the vehicle stable. And it's a ducted fan a ducted type fan. propulsion. The fan is a, it's a five-bladed fan, okay. followed by a stator to help take the, twir the swirl out of the air okay. and to relieve some of the stress on the flight control system. The ground control station consists of these two radios for the video, the command and control, the GPS, okay. plugs into a laptop computer, and the, we don't have the application up at the moment, but the application is all touch pen driven. Okay. This is the entire, this plus a starter, which I don't have out here at the moment, is all you need to deploy and fly the vehicle. And how many of the uh, T-Hawks are deployed currently? There's a handful deployed currently for test purposes, but we have just completed a, the initial delivery to NAVAIR of uh, six systems which will deploy to Iraq later this month or early next month. Now, is the t also being used by the Army? They use, the, they use it for uh, surveillance. Uh, they are using it limited. They are limited. They are using it somewhat in Iraq right now uh, for, for surveillance missions. Okay, and what are the um, dimensions of the vehicle in terms of the weight and the payload? The payload itself weighs about a pound. Okay. The vehicle itself, fully fueled, is uh, 18 and a half pounds. That's including 2.1 pounds of fuel, which will give it about a 40 or 50 minute flight duration. Okay. And what is its uh, service altitude? We can fly up to about 10,000 feet. Once we get up above 7,700 foot density altitude, we have to start offloading fuel. But our typical operating altitudes for missions is one to 200 foot above the ground. Okay. And what's the next step for this program, John? Next step right now, we're, we're constantly improving the avionics slightly. There's some software uh, improvements coming down the pike. Uh, right now, the big push is the production contract that we have with NAVAIR. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Sure.